Alrighty folks, Captain Dave here. What I'm going to show you here is what I was talking about in my last video. Here is the Bloodstream Top Predator Chum. Uh, this is, I can't, let's see, it's from Aqua Nutrition Incorporated in Eustis, Florida. Okay, just to go over what this is all about, hopefully it's a serious shortcut. When you can't get pogies, I can't chop up pogies um, because I can't find them. Uh, when looking for bait is a immense time-consuming problem or looking for chum is a huge problem. Um, I'm going to hopefully be able to use this for my, you know, shark fishing. Not shrimp boats. Running and gunning on the shrimp boats, we all know that's nothing but a floating chum bucket. But this is for drifting or still fishing, you know, at anchor. I'm going to read you what it says on the back here. It says, show, sharks locate distant feeding opportunities mainly through scent. The bloodstream creates a chum slick throughout the water column and draws sharks from miles away. This is all stuff that I'm going to hopefully be proving. Okay. When the ingredients are mixed together into a solid chum, uh, place the block in the included chum bag and hang over the back of the boat. Suspend it below uh, the boat to attract many other pelagic species. Okay, bloodstream top predator chum is based on shark fishing chum that it combines powerful scents and blood with the essence of oily predator species, bait fish oils, solids that draw sharks in from miles away. Each 10 pound kit contains the scent equivalent of 200 pounds of bloody chum. Continuous slow dissolving formula lasts up to eight hours. Each kit, which is this this is the 10 pound kit. They also sell a five pound kit. Okay, each kit contains the dry mix. That's this. And these people are, I think, in the goldfish business, the koi business down there. So uh, who knows? This could have ground up goldfish in it. Um, it contains the dry mix, which I can see has oats in it. A lot, you know, everybody uses oats to soak up oils. Um, a mixing bag, which that's what it's in. A chum cloud attractant, which is this bag of sinking, uh, sinking oil cloud. Okay, bunker menhaden pogey. Uh, mixture is designed to uh, sink, spray, you can spray it, and you can dilute it. You can make up to a gallon and a quarter with this right here. Uh, supposedly, Reef, Mako, Bull, Blue, Thresher, Hammerheads, fresh from Florida. This is a good old Florida product. Okay. Disposable chum bags and instructions. Okay. Well, here's the chum bags that you take a ball, you make this into a ball, and you put it in here. They give you two, so exactly what I'm going to do today to show you is I'm going to make up two. Uh, the reason I'm doing this in the garage here in the shop is for the sheer fact that it's kind of drizzling outside. I really hope to get off all three charters this week, which is this Saturday, Sunday, and a half day on Monday. I would really, really like to get out there and do some drifting. Oh, geez, there's the damn phone. Okay, where was I? The phone rang. I think I was showing you these chum bags. They give you these little mesh bags just to hold together. What you got to do is you got to pull them apart. You know, so you can 
put the I'm gonna separate what's gonna be making 10 pounds of uh, this chum I'm gonna separate it make it into like two balls um, and I'll tell you that's so cool about this is you know you get the chum at the at, you know it most of the chum at the bait shops and stuff I mean it's frozen it hits warm water and instantly dissolves super quick um, you got to keep it frozen uh, these when you put these in here you can put them in a plastic bag and it'll just be fine for days and days or you could take it and you could put it in the bottom of a refrigerator or something I mean I'm just looking at the benefits of this as being pretty immense so what I was gonna do and I think I'm not gonna do it in here I think I'm gonna do it in a five gallon bucket I had this big jug thing I'm going to take this and put it in a five gallon bucket to do the mixing. And you don't have to stick your hands in here. You just need it. Okay. You just go, you know, you need it like that. So, uh, let me get a five gallon bucket and do it that way. Just because I don't want to be pouring this liquid into this in case there's any little tiny pinholes in your bag here. So let me get a uh, let me get a bucket of some sort. All right. Well, guess what? It's right. It's all right because look at this. It is turning into concrete with that exact bag that they gave me of the liquid. And now this is really setting up. I've got some other stuff here, see? I got the, the, the chum cloud liquid that they gave me. And then I got, I got this, which is chum slick, uh, which is 33 bucks. And this is supposed to be the liquid form of this. Okay? Now look at this. It smells like death. So, this is definitely... Probably, I mean, from what I can see, without using it yet, this is the best chum product I probably have ever seen. Uh, you can really need this. Oh, yeah. And it really comes together with, there isn't a whole lot of waste going on here. I don't know if you can see it, but um, there it is. Kind of turns into what looks like asphalt. Okay. And I can see why you'd want to do this at home before you start fishing. Now, what I want to do is I want to split this into two groups or two balls. That's going to be the hard part. So, let's figure out how we can do that. And I can see that this is going to come in kind of handy, of course, again. I think the hands are going to have to be a part of this. Now, what would be cool is if you had a tube. Let's see here. <coughs> oh, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll put... I'll put some bungee or something around here to hold it and be able to stick it down in there. So, let me get on that. Let me put something on here. A bungee or something. And I'll hold this mouth open so I can take half of this and put it in there. Alright, what I did here is I just... I just took these clamps. Because I just want something to hold this open. It's not really sitting around here all that great, but I just want to be able to dump it in there. 
looks like I might have to use my hands or I got some gloves. All right. Got some nitrile gloves here from an old project. Now they should add these, but then again, I'm sure they don't want you to think that it's just so nasty that you don't ever want to even get it on your hands. But I want to take about half of this. I want to stick it down in here. It's sort of working out. See the consistency? Baby, there's a little chum bomb. I really like this stuff. For some reason, this is really uh, right up my alley. Okay, so then there's hopefully that's about half. All right, then I'm going to take my clamps off. get this down in the bag okay. let me get this thing I'll have this be my designated put this right in the chum tube on my boat okay so I will have this in the chum tube but supposedly you can take this tie a string to it just hang it over the side of the boat okay and what I'm going to do with this I'm just going to take it, tie a knot in it, and there's one of them ready to go. And uh, supposedly, you know, this. Each one of these is supposed to make up to, you know, like seven hours or something of, of chumming. So <clears throat> you want to put it in this bag so you can pull it out if you have to. If you're running from one spot to another, I can just imagine myself. I don't want to be, I don't want to be chumming while I'm on the run. So, I'm going to take the rest of this now. I don't know if I split it in half exactly here, but we'll see in a second. I don't think I did. <laughs> it's a little more. This one's a little bit bigger. But that's okay. I'll know which one is which. All 
right. So I'm going to take the clamps off. Take this. Put it in this tub again. Tie a knot in it right now. And mash it all together. And I can tell you, if just from making other chum, um, Oh, that grinding and all that. I mean, the problem is, see, a lot of products, in my opinion, are made for the guy who's just going out on the weekend. Okay? He makes up a bunch of chum, you know, with his uh, wood chipper or his grinder. But for somebody like me, I mean, let's say if you're going day after day, um... Something like this to be able to make it up the night before, <clears throat> throw it in a plastic bag. Um, to tell you the truth, I'm standing here breathing this. It does. It's not bad at all. It's a little smelly, but it's not that big a deal. Now, I've got to have this so I can go down to my chum tube, which is only eight inches and around. So I gotta make sure it fits in my chum tube. take these put them in a bag they don't need refrigeration but you could lay them on ice which is what I'm going to be doing and of course I'm going to be taking my chum cloud with me maybe my smells like death with me and um, going for it So, yeah, one's a little bigger than the other. Looks like out of 10 pounds, I got one that's... <laughs> maybe six and four, you know? So, there you go. All you got now is you got this bag. Throw this away, make the garbage man really happy. No waste. There's nothing really in there that's you can't. Hell, you probably throw that throw that bag. I can take this bag and put it in a bag. And with what's just layering in the, inside this bag, I could throw this in my chum tube. which I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to put this in with a, in a bag with those. And um, I'm going to use what's in this bag. That's the reason having a chum tube built into the side of your boat or built into the stern of your boat is the most perfect situation you could ever have. So, there's using Bloodstream Top Predator Chum. Hopefully the next video you will see 
is it in action along with the liquid form and maybe even chum cloud sinking chum oil. So what I can do with this now is I give you this nice quality bag. I'm going to take this, stick it down in there, take this, stick it down in there. I'm going to keep this bag because it's still got particles and stuff in it. Not a whole lot of waste or anything. And then this zips. Okay. Put all the air out of it. Throw that in the boat. Throw it in the cooler. And you're ready to go chumming. Actually, this is all dry now. Pull those off. And there you go. I don't know. Is that better than the actual product? The, the product, the folks at Aqua Nutrition, they did some videos, but is that one even better? I, I hope so. Ha <laughs> ha!